Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm actually gonna brew two beers. One is a Japanese lager and one is my Irish stout, uh, which is kind of an unsoured Guinness clone. And the reason I'm doing this is for my favorite band, Man Man. They made me the awesome intro and outro music that I used for my podcast. So as a thanks, I am making uh, basically the lead singer Ryan's or Honus Honus favorite beers, uh, which is Guinness or Japanese lagers. Um, and the idea behind this is I'm gonna brew 10 gallons of the Japanese lager. Well, it's probably gonna be, end up being two kegs of the Japanese lager and one keg of the Irish stout and we're gonna make half and halves with them. So that just means we're gonna do like literally a glass of half Japanese lager and half Irish stout. But let's get to milling. I'm brewing this tomorrow morning, so I wanted to get prepped because I'm gonna start pretty early. And um, the Japanese lager is actually incredibly simple. It's just gonna be pilsner and rice and um, a little bit of lactic acid in the mash to decrease the pH so everything will convert. And the Irish stout, it is definitely a little bit more complicated, but it's very simple, like, tasting beer, which is nice. So let's start with the Japanese lager. We are going to use 16 pounds. I guess I should tell you how much we're gonna make. So this is actually going to be an 11 gallon batch just because of true loss and loss in the lines. So I wanna get two kegs out of this and I like by two kegs, I mean two full kegs. So we're gonna use 16 pounds of Pilsner malt. I have this Maltworks malt from Northern Brewer. Um, I've got a link to all their malts below. Uh, they are basically supplying me all my malts now and I'm obsessed. Uh, I'm going through so much now that I've got uh, more capacity that it's kind of mind blowing. So uh, the 16 pounds of Pilsner malt, which is 7.25 kilograms or so, and then we're gonna add six pounds of cooked white rice to it, and that's 2.7 kilograms, and that will basically dry the crap out of it, you know? Uh, my favorite Japanese lager is the Asahi Extra Dry, and um, I mean, does anything go with sushi better? I doubt it. Um, so we'll see, and maybe I take it upon myself to also learn how to make sushi. Probably not, it's too complicated for me. All right, so let's get to it and measure out our 16 pounds of Pilsner. Is this gonna be one of those I can't get? Probably. Why does this work so well sometimes and then like not at all the other times? All right, so that is pretty much it. I am currently cooking my six pounds of rice, which is gonna take forever, hence doing it the day before. So let's move on to the Irish stout. Um, I'm gonna use the same Pilsner. My recipe, I've made it with two row before, but I'm switching to Pilsner just because this bag is open, honestly. Um, for Pilsner, we're gonna do six pounds, 14 ounces, and that's 3.1 kilograms. We're also going to do uh, caramel 120, uh, two pounds and five ounces of that, which is about one kilogram. Um, flaked barley, we're gonna use uh, 520 grams or one pound and two ounces. And roasted barley, we're gonna use the same, 520 grams, one pound, two ounces. And that's gonna be it for that one. Um, very roasty, pretty dry. I love that beer. So let's get started with the pills. All right, flaked barley isn't going in yet. I'm just going to measure it out like when I'm done um, and probably just leave it in this guy. And we do that because it's already gelatinized. So if you put it in the mill, it can kind of just like gum up everything. It's already kind of like sticky. So this is our roasted barley. So we want uh, one pound, two ounces, and caramel 120, which is two pounds, five ounces. 
So what I'm going to do is actually pour it in here, put this on there. And now I'm just going to measure out the 1.3 ounces of flaked barley and toss it in the same bucket. All right, so now we're ready to brew tomorrow. Um, all I'm gonna do now is fill up my water, like probably tomorrow morning. I'm gonna heat um, my water to 120 degrees in the kettle, all of it, and then transfer some to the smaller claw hammer system and do a protein rest in the large system for the rice and then also start the mash of the other one. Just, you know, this one heats up faster than the smaller one, so. Yep, goodbye. Okay, so what I've got going here is I actually have like nearly 20 gallons of water heated to 120 degrees. And I've got a couple gallons of water heated to 156 right here. So I'm going to transfer up to, let's see uh seven gallons or 27 liters into the 10 gallon kettle and then that should leave us about 13 gallons 13 and a half gallons or 51 and a half liters in the 20 gallon system okay so let's transfer this wrong one all right so there's seven gallons let's see what we're left with here too much. We got 16 gallons in there. We want 13. What the hell am I doing? 13 and a half or 51.5 liters. Well, shoot. Oh, you know what? I've got kegs to clean. Let's just put that hot water in the keg. Okay, so the reason we heated this guy up to 120 instead of like a usual mash tin is we're doing a protein rest because we're doing the six pounds of rice in here. Um, so this is basically just one six pound bag of rice and it's just the standard white rice, um, the like long grain stuff, and it's very sticky. Um, so we're gonna do a protein rest and this will make the head retention better and reduce chill haze. So um, we want a super clear, dry lager, which means that we got to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is actually mash in first and then add my rice because I don't want the rice to gum up my screen. So this is just our Pilsner and it's 16 pounds or seven and a quarter kilograms. I've never brewed with rice before. This is a new experience. So we're going to let this protein rest for 30 minutes. I'm going to add four milliliters of lactic acid just to make sure that we got the right pH for the enzymes to convert. And hopefully this rice breaks up. It's like a solid glob. So after the 30 minutes, we're going to raise the temp and do a standard mash for 45 minutes. All right, that's enough playing with my food. All right, so I'm setting a timer for 30 minutes on that one. And this one's got about 10 degrees to go before I'll mash in with that. So we're gonna mash this one at 152 or 67 degrees, or, or 67 degrees Celsius. And yeah, everything's already done. Now I gotta throw these in my dishwasher. All right, we are ready to mash in at 152 or 67 degrees Celsius on the Irish Stout. So we hear is all that green. Mm. 
I'm gonna mix this up because there's that flaked barley and I don't want it to kind of get stuck blocking the whole thing. All right, so this one's gonna sit for 40, uh, no, this one's an hour. This one's an hour and then in 15 minutes, I'm gonna raise the lager and that's for 45 minutes. So they'll pretty much be done mashing at the same time. All right, so our mashes are done. I'm going to lift this one first. And I did it on this work surface because I can actually move it around. So. All right, so that one's draining. Now we can do the big guy. So while these drain, I'm gonna increase my heat setting to boiling. All right, so once this drains a bit, we're gonna take our pre-boil gravity readings and then we're gonna boil and do our hops, et cetera, et cetera. Alrighty, so these are both about boiling. Um, we're going to do this one first, um, just because it's already kind of hooked up. We've got a little more than 13 gallons in there. Don't really know how that happened. This guy's already boiling. So I'm gonna take a little sample, leave it on here. Probably make a huge mess. And for this guy, um, for the Japanese lager, we're only doing one hop edition of Sriracha 8, of Sriracha, of Sriracha Ace, and it's gonna be at the half hour mark. So that's going to be, let's see, how much are we putting in? It's going to be one ounce, so 28 grams of Sriracha Ace. Um, so we're just gonna let that sit, set a timer for an hour. And this one, I believe we have some 60 minute editions. You have one 60 minute edition of 0.8 ounces of Target or about 23 grams. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that now. All right, so target going right in. I'm gonna set a timer next top editions at the 15 minute point. So we'll do half hour that one, 45 minutes. This one gets another hop edition. Our pre-boil is, it seems pretty high actually. It is 14.8 bricks or 1.062. Let's see. Our gravity pre-boil was supposed to be 1.044. We're like above our original gravity somehow. How did this even happen? All right. We're probably going to have to add some water to this guy because um, that's a little out of control. So our boil size was supposed to be about half a gallon or two liters-ish higher than it actually is. Um... I'm going to add the water as we cool if we do indeed want to add some 
and just kind of keep this a little covered. Yeah, you like that? That's yummy. All right, so let's see about that, guys, or pre-boil. So our pre-boil for our Japanese lager is 11 bricks. That's about more in line. And that means it's 1.046, which is exactly what our pre-boil should have been. And our, our boil volume, uh, it actually is like a gallon higher than what we wanted. So we wanted 12 gallons or 46 liters, and we're pretty much still at 51 and a half liters or 13 and a half gallons. So um, this might be a little higher. I'm probably not going to dilute this one just because our ABV was only going to be like four and a half or something. And like most Japanese lagers are around 5%. So we'll just go with that one, won't we, Steve? Huh? Yeah. We're going to make you some biscuits. How about that? Sound good? Yeah, it's not on your face. Alrighty, so I'll see you guys back here when we do more hop additions. I'm actually just going to go ahead and measure out everything while we're here. So, just kidding. Alright, so for our Irish stout, we need another 0.28 ounces or 7.8 grams. So this is for this. And we get one ounce of the Sriracha Ace. All right, now I'll see you guys back here. All right, time for our only hop addition for the Japanese lager, the one ounce of Sriracha Ace. The one ounce of Sriracha Ace or 28 grams and setting a timer for 15 minutes because then we can put on our next top edition for this guy and then in 15 more minutes we'll be done all right it's time for our second hop edition on the irish stout and there it is so i'm going to set a timer for 15 minutes and then we'll be done so i'm going to take another gravity reading of this guy and see how much we should add water-wise. So it looks like our gravity is 13 bricks, which is 1.054. Our original gravity is supposed to be 1.048. Honestly, I'm not gonna update that because when we chill with this, there's gonna be some lower ABV wort in here that'll mix with this. We're gonna call it good. This is all kind of a do whatever kind of brew. All right, so I'm gonna transfer the rice lager into the brew belt. Of course I did something stupid because, you know, it always happens. Um, I only ordered one packet of yeast because I'm used to making five gallon batches. So that obviously won't work for a 10 gallon batch. Don't have time to make a starter. So what I'm gonna do is pitch one packet of Saf Lager 189, which is a Swedish yeast, pretty nondescript. And then also pitch two vials of Saf Lager 23. So that should get us near where we wanna be. We're at 76 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna ferment this at um, 68, but this will drop it down pretty quickly.
so our pre-boil on that was 12 and we're 0.02 over and that is great. I love it. So I'm gonna ferment this under pressure at 15 PSI, but until I get to that, we're going to chill the other guy. So there's just a little bit of the rice lager going into this, but who cares? It's basically just a super dry version of the base malt of this. So for this one, we're gonna use Nottingham yeast, just a dry packet, and I'm gonna also ferment it under pressure. Um, yeah, I'll do it at 68, but I'm only gonna ferment it under like five PSI. All right, this is at 75 degrees, so I'm just gonna transfer into this guy. and pitch my yeast. And I'm going to ferment this at about five PSI at whatever it is in here, which is probably gonna stay around mid seventies. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. This brew day was intense. See you guys next time for the review.